This is a sample of a real brain. It's hard to imagine that a piece of meat like this could produce thoughts. The line down the center is called the longitudinal fissure, and it divides the brain into a left hemisphere and a right hemisphere. The two hemispheres are connected by a horizontal line of nerve fibers, and the two hemispheres handle different things. The left hemisphere is better at logical reasoning and memory and more abstract things. The right hemisphere is better at imagination and creativity. The brain is at the helm of our bodies. It controls all our behaviors and thought processes. As the source of consciousness, there are about 100 billion neuron cells inside. That's more than the number of stars in the Milky Way. When we receive external stimuli, such as light, sound, or temperature, the body's sensors convert these stimuli into electrical signals and transmit them to the brain for analysis. Countless instructions are passed back and forth between these 100 billion neurons. This gives us the ability to run, think, and hide from predators. Our brains are not only filled with fat, blood, and water, it's also electricity that travels back and forth through the brain. And the neuron cells in the brain are where the power is. They make contact and send signals back and forth. Although the brain weighs only 2% of the body, it uses about 20% of the body's energy and 25% of its oxygen. When we're awake, the brain produces between 10 and 23 watts of electricity, enough to light a light bulb. And the male brain is about 10% heavier than the female brain. Although the female brain is slightly smaller, it has more nerve cells and connections that allow women to process emotions better, and men have a better ability to think logically. 